Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Move and it's time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing Beard Center 2. But before I get started and talking about that movie, I am going to tell you what I think of the first Beard Center movie. I fucking hate it. It is, in my opinion, the second worst Christmas movie, with Christmas with the Cranks being my most hated one. The main reason why I hate it so much is because I don't find characters who are assholes for the sake of being assholes to be funny. With that being said, I expected the sequel to be shit. So, uh, and the sequels are usually worse than the first movie. But I was pleasantly surprised. Now this movie ha has the same basic premise as the original one. With the Santa Claus being a total asshole. But there is a twist. I'm going to start by talking about the protagonist of the movie. Billy Sog, played by Billy Bob Thornton. Now he is just as unlikable in this movie as he was the first movie. He is still the same pretentious, annoying and unlikable cunt he was in the first movie. But there is one thing that is actually different about him this time around. This time he actually gets fucking punished for being such a cunt. He barely got punished in the first movie. And I gotta say that is fucking awesome. It doesn't change the fact that they fucking hate this guy Scott. Now his mother on the other hand is entertaining. She is Sunny Soak, played by Kathy Bates. Now she's pretty much a cunt, but the thing about her is unlike Willie, she's actually a cunt who is entertaining. I was laughing a lot throughout the movie and I was mainly laughing at what she said. She is a fucking awesome character for sure, and she is the main reason why this movie turned out so fucking awesome. And she is also a criminal mastermind. Fucking hell yeah, I love that character. And the next character that I'm going to talk about is Thurman Merman, played by Brad Kelly. Now this movie is released 13 years after the first Bad Santa movie. And because of that, this movie also takes place 13 years later. And despite the fact that he is in his early 20s now, he still acts like a fucking kid. In fact, I would say that he is a man child. And that's one of the things that makes this movie so fucking funny. He is obsessed with Billy to the point that it becomes fucking creepy. And you know what? That's exactly what makes him so fucking funny. Now I'm going to talk about the humor. I already told you the main reason why this movie is so fucking funny. It's because of Willy Smolder of course. But that's not the only thing about this movie that made me laugh. I was also laughing at Willy getting the shit beaten out of him or get burned in some other ways. That made me laugh because that cunt had it coming. And yeah, I'm willing to admit that I did laugh for most of the movie. Which is shockingly awesome because I didn't expect that at all. I didn't expect anything good from the movie. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Bad Santa 2 is a fucking awesome movie and very fucking funny. And I never thought I'd say that but it's true. And for that I'm going to give it a rating 2 thumbs up. One last thing before I end this video, I have decided the theatrical movie reviews I will be making for the rest of the year. That is all of them except one. And that review will be decided by you. That's right, you, the viewers. Next Friday I will be reviewing the movie that wins the poll. So if you want to vote for my next theatrical movie review, go right ahead. A link to the poll is in the video description below. The movies on the list are movies that I either had no interest in seeing or movies that I wanted to see but never got around to it. So go ahead, fucking vote now. Well guys, that's all I've got to say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.